the Sinners and Pins podcast, episode 253 for Thursday, December 7th, 2017. Yes, you heard that right. Thursday. This is Brian. This is Lisa. 253. That's a lot. Like every six episodes, we always, you always say it's a lot. I have to sit here and <laughs> You've got to <laughs> talk sit with to me. you 253 for an hour, times. Half an hour, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Go ahead. Hit me. <laughs> I'm ready. Where does one find the best hollandaise sauce in the world? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nome, Alaska. Okay. Why? Because everybody knows there's no place like Nome for the hollandaise. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I'm going to kill Brian now. There's no place like Nome for the Hollandaise. Yeah. It's good, right? <laughs> Help. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to make up a little sign, and as you're saying the joke, I'm just going to flash a little sign that just says, A little white flag. Help me. A little white flag. <laughs> Give up. Now I have that song in my head. There's, There's no, no place, place like no for the <laughs> holidays. <laughs> All right. So what are we talking about today? Lots of stuff. Okay. Maybe I'm just going to mess with you and jump around. I hope not. Jump around? No. So, yeah. The uh, <laughs> podcast today is Thursday. Uh, Brian was peaked yesterday. I'm still slightly peaked. peaked but, uh, <laughs> <clears throat> I think I think that's all behind us. If you get everybody sick, they are going to be so pissed. They will, but, you know, it's, I don't know. Changing the weather. Changing the we weather. We had snow. Well, we didn't have We had snowflakes. It was teeny tiny little snowflakes. It melted before it hit the ground. It no did, but I saw snow. No big deal. Anyway. So what's up? Cool stuff this week. Okay, I'm ready. Um, finally, Mont Blanc Beatles. Yes. Uh, great character, special edition. Um, uh, ink. This is cool. Purple. You know, and I, I, I figured this, when this came out, this was going to be, it's this like, is good. This had to be good. It's a big bottle. Um, 50 mil bottle, square bottle. I love these little bottles. Yes. This is, and I know some people have, um, like a complained about bottle. the price, <laughs> but the bottle itself is so nice. And when it you're is. done with it. You know, the 30 mil bottle was nice, but this one, when you're done with it, it, it looks so nice on your desk. And you um, can actually fit other stuff in it. You know, you would pay, you'd pay $20 for an inkwell that nice. Yes. Absolutely. You would. Um, so really, I it's... I would get it on sale, but... <laughs> <laughs> you get now, it at wholesale, is what you well, get Oh, that's at. true. Now, um, the cool thing is, this is a gorgeous purple. It's a nice purple, yeah. yeah. Gold it, sheen on there, too. Yeah, that's very cool. That is nice, nice sheen. touch. Um... It's not a shy purple. No, it's 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 kinda, not a kind of in your face. Damson blackened purple. I mean, this is this is it's not purple. a shy it's, purple. You know, usually the boxes they're not. You it's know, they, not they, demure. they have try to give you an idea what the color is, and they're usually never quite right. But you know, the box is actually pretty pretty good. Pretty it's close. pretty spot on. Yep. Um, nice color. Um, and of course, along with that goes the matching pen writing instrument. Um, and you're handing this to me. I am. There I'm, we go. I'm not Beatles. A, I'm, I, I guess I can't announce it. I'm, I'm not a huge Beatles fan because I'll get shot, but. She loved me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so we got the ballpoint in. The fountain pen is on its way. Um, this is. Not a shy. wild, yeah. Again, this is a very wild pattern, uh, psychedelic. We've got mustaches on the clip. It's it's big. You know, the mustache um, throws me. That's that's the thing. <laughs> I, I gotta say, the mustache is on the clip. I think that's one of those either love it or hate it, and I, I don't think I love it. You know, I like the trim. The trim is nice. It's like a dark ruthenium trim. Um, you'd never course, lose that. Pen. You'd never that's lose a this. Big pen. The big, yeah, it's big. The big. Uh, Big snowflake on the top there. That's got some weight. Um, so the fountain pen will I be great when it comes in. Piston I like filler. The, the detail on the nose cone. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, the mustaches. Like, 
don't know. For a true Beatles fan, must have. have nice like box. John Lennon's eyeglasses or something on there. Well, then it wouldn't be a Beatles. It would be a John Lennon. That's true. All we right. already have a John Lennon pack. We do. So. All right. so actually, we do have a John Lennon and a Beatles uh, in stock. But so if you're a big fan. But yeah, nice uh, nice packaging. It's got a cute little box. I do like the box. I, I like I like the little caricatures of, of uh, you know, John and the boys. Why is it always Ringo? John and the boys? Why isn't it like well, Ringo and the boys? He's always first, you know. Ringo or is always George. the shy. Ringo and George are the shy ones. So I think it should be George and the and the boys. Okay, John, Paul, George, and Ringo. How's that? But still, John is still first. Listen, I didn't. All right. I'm not the first one to come up with it. Ringo. Anyway, Beatles. I like Ringo. The ink is great. I like Ringo too. Have you ever seen the, his uh, his movie? The one with uh, Barbara Bach, Caveman. No. <laughs> Wow, if you thought I, like I, Paul McCartney if you thought I had bad taste in movies, <laughs> you ain't seen nothing Brian's yet. Brian's got really bad taste in movies. Um, Don't get me started. Caveman, Ringo Starr, great movie. Great movie. He's on a poster for eyeglasses at the um, mm. eyeglass shop down on the first floor of the plaza in the building that we're in. And I want that And if they ever poster. get rid of it, I know I'm going to see if uh, Jenny will let us take it. and I'll just put it over your side of the bed. There we or go. Just... Somewhere in your office. So Ringo you could... rocks. Okay. All right. Anyway, Beatles in. The ink is great. Uh, it's uh, very quite popular. It's doing very well. Yes. So, All right. uh, nice color. If I was going to use a purple, that you should. That would be it. Okay. I just need a purple pen. Suggestions on a purple pen. Put it in a black pen. I need a black pen. Then. You have black pens. <laughs> All right. Moving All on. Right. Lamy. So, new stuff from Lamy. Lamy Ion. Speaking of. Black pen. There we go. Black and olive silver. Olive silver. Although I don't know where the olive comes in. It's. it's I guess it's got a little bit in the light. You can kind yeah. of see it's got a little bit of a. These are kind of cool. Um, heavy, heavier than I thought. It's it's a big pen. Yeah, it's not a a small pen. Um, I I would consider that it's at the upper end of my comfort level, um, but I like thin pens. Really, really nice. Um, does post is a little bit long posted, but um, you know it's kind of almost a cross between the two thousand and the studio. You know, the, it's got the kind of the. I like the uh, the matte section. Mm -hmm, yeah. I like yeah. that that's not shiny and slippery. It's not the not the same material as the barrel. No, it's different. Um, it's kind of cool. You know, it's very it's, it's very awaited, German. It's much awaited. Yeah, it's very understated. German. It's understated. It's. Yeah. A tube with a clip and a nib, I guess. As are um, most pens. But it's it's not it's not terribly expensive either, so that's kind of the yeah. nice nice like thing it. about it. I like it. Um, it's just kind of sleek. Extra fine, fine, medium, broad nibs. Um, this this is a nice pen. This next one. The Lamy Studio, which I, we've had in the blue and the silver, and we did recently get in the racing green. We also got in the piano black, which is a shiny finish. Um, this is a, a smaller size for me. Um, does have the shiny, uh, shiny silver section, so I prefer the matte. And most importantly, a 14 karat nib. Two tone nib, boy, this thing is beautiful. This is just, I love that two tone. You could put the Beatles <clears throat> ink in your new black pen. Oh, you heard that here. <laughs> tuck that right Didn't you there. just get a pen in the mail? I did just get a pen so in the mail. So that's coming out. That pen is also black and green. There you go. Um, so, so anyway, some new Lamy stuff that we've been waiting on for months and months, and it's nice to have that in for the holidays. It's, yeah, it's starting to slowly make its way through the new distributor, which is which is awesome. Yes. So uh, you've got some new inks I to talk do. about. I do. Some Robert Oster. just came in. It's been a busy week as it far as uh, pens and ink are crazy. concerned. What do we got in there? Oh, I like the one there. I know. On the so. Top. We have like a deck of cards. Robert Oster. That didn't work so well. That's why I don't play, <laughs> I don't play poker. Um, soda Pop Blue. Super pretty. I liked it. That's nice. Okay. I don't know what makes it Soda Pop, though. What Soda Pop is blue? Fago or? Fago is orange. Don't they make a blue? I don't know. Looks, I don't isn't know. there a Gatorade that's I don't that's know. Blue, There's Gatorade. Yeah, that's not, yeah, not, not soda, a Soda Pop. I don't know. Maybe in Australia they have blue soda pop. Maybe, I don't know. Um, lipstick red, which is kind of a burgundy-ish. 
um, but pretty. Green at night. You no, know, that would match. I really like. That would match the Racing Green Studio. Oh, awesome. It'd be a good, good match for that one. And Evening Sapphire, which is, like its name, kind of a darkened sapphire. I like that. Just a, a nice, okay. nothing uh, overt about uh, the color. Just a nice, rich blue. So, so, four more from the Master Ink Maker down under. I hope Mr. he takes, like, a week off to slow down. Well, I don't know. He's just churning them out, man. Uh, I, I would kill to be that creative. No, right? Uh, so, uh, what is next? <laughs> What's on your wish list? I'm looking at this for like the first time. I was pretty much out <laughs> yesterday, so. Wish list for Christmas? Do you have a pen and pen related, non pen related Christmas wish list? I mean, you, you we know, sort of already know what we're getting for Christmas. Yes, so. uh, I'm actually wearing it. I'm getting, <laughs> getting a necklace, but I'm just making sure that I don't need a different chain. Um, She's been making sure for like four days now, five days. Says now. the man wearing his new watch. He is well, yeah. you know. Um, you know, what I really want for Christmas is um, to have a day off and to spend it with family. Um I've been in communication with someone who I think I'm going to hire to uh, clean our house once a month, which sort of sounds indulgent, but I all we ever do is work. <laughs> so I just am not getting to it, and I'm tired of a dirty house. And I want um, inventory to go well, end of year inventory, and I don't want it to snow too much. <laughs> and that's what... But... We're going away. And I, and I got you all these Christmas presents and that's all you wanted? Well, is it really on my wish list if I already have the vanishing point in ice blue? You just haven't inked it up yet. I know. It's so pretty. I'm so it's excited. Nice pen. All right. So that's my <clears throat> pen related. What about you? What do you want? Well, I was actually, I was actually you want fine. More? No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> no. We, we had, we had pr pretty much bought all our Christmas presents for each, each other like, what, a month ago? Mm -hmm. And uh, when we were in Detroit, we, um, we stopped by the mall and we saw a couple things we liked. And so we ended up buying a couple things. So I got a new, a new shaving razor is coming to match my brush. Oh, yeah. Which is nice. A uh, little stand. It's gorgeous. Um, Rose gold. It's nice. I bought and paid for my new watch myself mostly. Um, apparently, that's my Christmas present. Uh, but then, and I was fine with all of that, but then all of a sudden... And then you had a pen for Christmas as well, and a pen for New Year's. I had a pen for, for Christmas, a pen for New Year's, and then a friend of ours contacted me, <sighs> what, last week? I knew I shouldn't open that email. And he says to, well, actually, the way this goes is so, I'm downstairs in this door, and I text Lisa, I say, you know, something sweet. And she oh, says... At, at like 2.53, <clears throat> he texts me and just says, I love you. So, of course, my first question, ladies, help me out, is what did you buy? What happened? What's wrong? What'd you do? I was just trying to, you know, gain my points in advance. You're banking points? I'm banking points. Because you know something's going to happen. Little did I know, 10 minutes before. 237. 237. We get an email from a friend who has a pen that... Not just any pen. No. No, a sailor pen, and not just any sailor no. pen, is a sailor pen made by Master Nobuyoshi Nagahara. Yes. 1911 large, the long model, green mosaic, ribbed barrel with a broad emperor tab. Handmade for him by Nobuyoshi I know. So Nagahara-san. We bought it. Because you had to. You have to. Um, so. Handmade box. Of course, box. my question is then, Little what are you so moving clean. from Christmas or New Year's to Valentine's Day? A Schaefer. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, New, Year, New Year's is another but, sailor. But come so. on, ladies, help me out. He texts I me did, I at had not read the email. I had not read the but email. But the email comes in at 2.37, and he's, what, hoping I didn't see it yet? Mm-hmm. And it was it was a very a very nice price, um, mutually agreed upon. Yeah, it was it was a, it was. It was 
It was a great deal. Great deal. You, you won't... Nobody emails me with things like that. Well, they know better. They know... <laughs> Nobody emails me f with suggestions for things I want. Well, like, well, I guess nobody has. Yeah, he, he had, Slims he had told like. me about this pen in Chicago last year, I think mm -hmm. it was, and uh, it came up for sale. And he asked my opinion of it, and I said, "Well, it should it should go in this range." And then he was going to sell it on eBay, and he he apparently didn't. And I, I didn't think twice of it because he had contacted us in August, right. and then all of a sudden he contacted us, and I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to have it. Yep. It's 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 gorgeous. We'll get pictures of it at some point, but." Oof. So anything non-pen related? Uh, non-pen related. Other than the razor? Yeah. And the watch? Well, I guess that's it. That's non-pen related. Razor, watch, little stand for the razor? You know, my wish for Christmas is that our daughter stays for longer than an hour. <laughs> she comes, she eats, we open gifts, she leaves. I mean, I guess she... I could, she, I could time it. <laughs> she does what, you know, she needs to do. Thanks for the gifts. Yeah. Gotta, Gotta go. go. <laughs> Typical 22-year-old. Yep. Um, right. So, anyway. That's, uh, that's wish list. It's already, already picked out. Are we doing what's in your pocket? No. I brought pens. Well, I, well what's in my pocket, actually, okay. if you want to sort of... Segway in? Segways right in. All right, you ready? I'm ready. So excited. I have not inked mine. I just did. I know you did. And I actually, I'm surprised I did it this quick. Ready? Peacock, the Sailor Limited, oh, uh, exclusive to us, Peacock. Check this out, people. And you oh know you know what's perfect? I found the perfect ink in less than 30 seconds, which is maybe a miracle. Which is so unusual for you. Usually, you leave it out on your desk, and you look at it, and you agonize. And then you're like, well, what do you think about this? And I still have what an should I put in Cosmos, it? So. What should I put in it? What should I put in it? I'm like, I, I, do you know what? Just put it away. <laughs> Just well, give see, it to you me. know, you know what? I can put the purple Cosmos. I can put the the Beatles in it. Nah, it's a little too purple. Anyway, Peacock see is here. It problem. is so freaking gorgeous. Uh, Kobe number thirteen is absolutely the perfect match for this pen. Kobe thirteen for the the nineteen eleven standard Peacock. Yes, we are sold out. They're all gone? Well, there's like <clears throat> one or two that are sort of on reserve. So, oh. um, but. Um, You're not getting two, are you? No, no, no. I don't okay. need two. No. Um, <laughs> Can I get yeah, there, 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 were, there were like two left. We had a couple cancellations and we have kind of a, a backlog. A of, wait list. A wait list. Um, but yeah, it's came in and we had it out that same day. 100 pieces of peacock loveliness. You know, we had a good system. It was uh, pretty impressive. Um, it's a lot to sort and organize. You want to make sure you get it right. Yes. Yes. Um, so but, uh, uh, they all went out, and uh, we already had a bunch of people email and double check, like, okay, I got tracking. The only thing I have that I'm waiting for is the peacock. Did it really ship? And no. yes, they really shipped. Uh, Two tone nib, and, and with this one, especially because we don't have. We don't have the Pro Gear 2 Slim, which is the only other pen that comes with this two-tone nib. This is a gorgeous nib. Um, yeah, it's a great nib. It was a great choice. The whole pen is fantastic. Um, good color. I'm just I'm yeah, so pleased to excited. actually see it now. So, But that came in. That was good. Um, coming up next week. Yay! I'm still a little confused. So excited. Like, you know, one so, sick day just totally... It totally broken. screws you up. I keep thinking yeah. today's Monday. Um, Ew. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, which means we're going to do the podcast. No. no. Anyway. Uh, John Lane. I know. I'm so Pilot excited. Pilot Namiki, uh, general manager. Usually we see him in September at the Dallas Pen Show, but he couldn't make it this year. Um, so we haven't seen John in almost no. two years. No, well, since we February saw him last, last year. year. Yeah, February last year when he came. Yes. Uh, so looking forward to seeing what he's going to have. Um, he always has, you know, the nice Yukaris, and we'll see what's... Um, Super excited. It's going to be it's going to be good stuff. We'll be able to talk about, maybe we can get some information out of him about this 100th anniversary, mm -hmm. uh, which would be nice. Any new things uh, coming down the pipe? Um, yeah, it'll be good. I, I doubt we're going to get much information, but you never know. I'm excited. Well, we'll, we'll bribe him with steak and French onion steak soup French from Lombardi's. Yeah. So we'll see what we can do. So, and we'll get back to you. Uh, if you are in the area, that is next Thursday, December 14th, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. 
uh, come on down to the store and we're going to have all sorts of really great stuff. Yes. And you, some of this stuff is um, amazing, limited editions or, or... Yeah, there's no way I would ever be able to afford any of this, but it's nice but to be able to, to touch hang it on and to it, play touch with it, it, dip it and write with it. I mean, you know, you want to hold a pen that's as expensive as your car, come on down and play with it. It's... And we own a pen store, and I'm not easily impressed at this point, but it's impressive. these are just so cool and so amazing, and the craftsmanship that goes into it is just unbelievable. The Mickey does beautiful. some of the best work in the world. They really do, and they're just... The owl with the crushed quail eggs? Yeah, you know, I just... Oh, you keep talking about I that. Do. How much I do. I like that? owls. It's $13,000. <clears throat> oh, yeah, no, you can't have that. <laughs> yeah, like, we get it for wholesale, though, right? So it's like only $7,000. Mm, yeah, it's not happening. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, next Thursday, 11 to 4, come on down. Um, clear your schedule. Take a sick day. Do whatever you have to do because yep. you don't often get a chance to see these pens. Um, and uh, and if, if you do want to take one home, you, you absolutely can. I think we're going to do a promo with certain pens and you get a pen pouch. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. I just threw that at him. That's cute. Yeah. Uh, all right, what else is going on? We um, tonight are starving ourselves today in honor of our annual company dinner. The we fourth annual? I think so. I think it is. It gets bigger every year. Um, every year we have a company dinner at a local Italian restaurant called Victoria's, known for phenomenal food. It's got this huge menu. One whole page um, is your options for pasta. One whole page is your option for meat. Um, one whole page is your option for sauce. It's crazy. There's hundreds. Yeah. Hundreds of different options. A hundred, in this place. Probably a thousand combinations because there's got to be. Yeah. And I'm not exaggerating this. It's time. a lot. It's, it's a, a lot, lot. You know. So when we picked the date and time, I sent the link to the menu so that everybody could start to look now because otherwise it'll take an hour. Nobody is allowed to get spaghetti with red sauce. Yeah. That's just it's too boring. That's too boring. Um, Their meatballs are big, though. They're yeah, big. amazing food. Size um, of an ink bottle. So we uh, we have our, our um, company celebration uh, there. And then, um, but the portions are so big, everybody goes home with leftovers. Yeah, we get leftovers. Usually it's like two lunches worth of leftovers. So it's like extra. It's good. Good desserts, everything. So today today's a cheat day, apparently. Well, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be good until 6 o'clock. Yes. All right. So, uh, AP Christmas dinner. That's great. Yep. Uh, speaking of AP, Santa reminder, uh, letters need to be in by Monday. That's the deadline for the AP yes. Santa. And then we're going to go pick the lucky winner. And if uh, we're generous, we'll pick more than, we'll pick several like we did last year. But we usually do. We usually do. Uh, some good letters in there. So, um, details on the blog, if you haven't. Already checked it out. Go check it out on the blog for AP Santa Reminder. You know what else we're doing? What else are we it's doing? It's not on the list. We're doing Secret Santas. Oh, Secret company. Santas, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need to, we need to go shopping because I, do. I yeah. don't know what to get my um, recipient. The creative team came up with it. Uh, we came in after everyone else had, had picked names, um, you know, with a, a low... Um, dollar commitment, but uh, it's fun because as, as well as we know all of our employees, it's really hard to uh, come up with something that is um, personal and uh, appropriate or cute or funny or whatever. Did you get me? I did not. I would have thrown it watch, back in. <laughs> watch, watch I get like a varsity in a Metropolitan or something. <gasps> it's awesome. It's That'd over the price. You get a varsity. Jason's laughing because he's got me. <laughs> he got me. Ooh, three he's varsities. Like, oh, that's a great idea. I was going to get you a blade. <laughs> Two blade set, maybe. You know, I really like the sidekick. I have one. You can. Anyway. I will find out who your um, recipient is. and then I'll So one. I know who I have, and, and I got lucky. I got the easiest one. You did get the easiest one, I, I think, for you. But, anyway, um, so. So that's been fun. Um, been a lot of little hushed conversations about Secret Santas here and there. I think if you if you just know who has me, just tell them like you no. know, King of Pens are under ten dollars. So anyway, Brian's going to be leaving now. Uh, question of the week. Well, question of the week. I don't. Push that 
forward there. Yeah, we have to go shopping because mm -hmm. I'm at a loss, and this should be really easy, but all right. Okay. <clears throat> this is long. <laughs> what fountain pen can you recommend for a person who is not yet into fountain pens, specifically for a Christmas gift? We get this all the time. Okay. Any accessories you would include to help them really fall in love with fountain pens as well? So. Well, you know, the, the, the obvious answer here, uh, I'll give you the obvious answer and then I'll give you another answer, Options. I think. Another option. The obvious answer, of course, is a person who's not into fountain pens, you don't want to get them too extravagant because what if, what unless, if they don't like it? Unless it's something you like. Unless it's something case, I like. In which case, if they don't like it, they can just give it back to you. Uh, yeah. Um, Pilot like Metropolitan. Reverse re-gifting? Re yes. Something okay. Like that. <laughs> Pilot Metropolitan, super easy. Um, that or, you know, Schaefer, Schaefer calligraphy sets. Yeah. The, 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 mini, the mini set is cute. Uh, one body, you get three different nibs, you get a bunch of cartridges. Um, How about one of the, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, you know, with, with, with the calligraphy set, then, you know, they can, they have basically their, you know, their big italics, um, you know, they can do practice lettering and things like that. Um, that might get them interested in using a pen for something other than just writing notes down. If you're in a Star Wars, like Jason is totally mm -hmm, geeked mm -hmm. out. We also have the Schaefer Star Wars Pop fountain pens. Those are cute. Yeah, the R2-D2. Brian, Brian really likes the R2-D2. Can I get in a gold nib? Can I put a gold nib in there? Put an AP nib in there, maybe? So those are try cute. Try that out when we get, get uh, off the air. I'm going to put a 1.5 stub in there, maybe. The Lamy Safari is fit. also a good option. I'm just ignoring you. Um, I also like the Schaefer 100. I was going to say, I was gonna say we, always, we always say, okay, the Metropolitan is great. But you know what? The Schaefer 100 is a nice, solid pen. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It doesn't feel, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes... Inexpensive pens are, are lightweight, and this is yep. not um, this is not light. It's not heavy, but yep. it's a nice size. Uh, has a good feel to it. The nib is great. Um, good feed. Good solid um, pen by a good solid brand. Uh, I think it's often overlooked because it's not trendy. It's and not flashy, flashy. But maybe if your gift recipient is you know is wearing a, a, a shirt and a tie, or you know a dress shirt and in in, uh, in slacks to work, they don't maybe they don't necessarily want. Uh, retro pop metropolitan, right. you know, they do want something classy looking like a Schaefer 100. So Schaefer 100 is about the, the top of the price point that I think that we yeah we talk to people about for... For um, a brand new. A brand new, brand new. Yep. Yep. Uh, as far as accessories, I would, uh, we usually in the store recommend uh, either cartridges or a converter and a bottle of ink. Mm -hmm. That way, usually the pen will come with cartridges and or a converter if it doesn't have a converter, get them a converter and either a bottle or a bunch of samples so they can play with ink. Um, but if you don't get them something, they'll play with it. They'll use up the ink that came in the cartridge, that came with the pen, and then they're stuck. you got to give them an idea of what's, yeah. <clears throat> how to continue what's down the path. There. Yeah, um, I would say, well, if you're, getting a, if you're getting a Schaefer 100, the perfect accessory is a Schaefer 100 rollerball. Something to match. Nice matching rollerball or paper because you can't write on <laughs> paper. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but anyway. Um, a good, a, a good, good notebook. good notebook because yep. otherwise what's going to happen is they're going to, oh, this is cool. I got this really neat, uh, neat pen. fountain pen. I got this, oh, I love purple ink. And then they write with this crappy office paper that they have that they steal from the printer. And it feathers all over the place. And What's your favorite notebook for work? Ooh, favorite notebook? Oh, you know, I like the 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 Atoya Profolio, the Petites. Yes. The little pocket journals. See, that's our um, symbol for a little pocket journal. That's our symbol. <laughs> I, I, I have one, and this has been in my pocket for I don't know how many months now. Um, I love that they're perforated. You know, and these are great because every page is perforated. If I need, if someone says, oh, you know, hey, can I can I get your number? Can I get, give, give me that email address? You can write it down here, you can rip it out, and you can give it to them. You know, instead of ruining your notebook or it's, you know, it's stitch bound and you end up, you rip Tearing out one page and then the, the other page yeah. comes out. Um, that's a great, great little add on. Mm -hmm. uh, Not you know, expensive at all. A buck and a half, two bucks, yeah. you know, so. Uh, but some kind of good paper, um, some kind of ink or converter, 
And um, yeah, you could even get like a nice rhodia pad or a, yeah, a ice yeah. or something, you know. But and that way they, they've got package. a little bit of a package and yet you are still, depending on which pen you buy, you're still under $25, $30. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, so. and it's fun to unwrap more than one thing. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, saying. so you get the whole experience because if you don't do if you don't do the tri the triad, pen, paper, and ink, then you know you want them to understand what it's all about. So there you go. That's a good question of the week. Thank you. Did you come up with that? No, I, didn't. No? Okay. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Uh, anything else? Is that? I think that's that wrapped it. it up I think this uh, week? you might take some more Dayquil or something and take you home. Really. Because I've always wanted to have mustaches in my pocket. Well, they're really on your pocket. That's a nice, really it's deep. a nice big, it lets you know that it's that's big. a whole blog. Yeah. Yes, that, that's, that's big, huge. It's nice. All right. Actually, the size, the size is nice. It's got some weight to it. I can't wait till the fountain pen comes in. I had my teak ready to show off. You had your teak ready to show I off? Did. But now you showed it off, so we can't show it off next week. She has her teak with her this week. It's old teak. Anyway, thanks for joining us. <laughs> I think that's it for this week. Uh, <laughs> tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Uh, follow our blog for news, ink reviews, uh, new products that just came in, and all sorts of fun videos. And follow us on social media as Anderson Pets. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.